Hello and welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. So we have this object which we used for the other training purposes and we have created uh, some primitives for example this plane and the plane at the bottom and also we created this uh, revolved surface. So the normal way we can build our model is by trimming these uh, primitives. So I will just select everything just with the normal rectangular selection it selects everything on the screen and then I can go for the trim as we learned in the other uh, previous videos you can just click and uh, remove all the unnecessary parts or you can reconstruct your object but in this video we want to show you something which is a bit different I will just reset the trim we'll, which will restore our uh, pre-trim selection here and what we have now here is called automatic trimming there are a couple of options here which I will try to explain but in general what it does it automatically removes everything and reconstructs your model just with the hit of a button how it works so what we have here is just uh, uh, two parameters which are controlling our performance. The way it works is not based on the volume, but actually how the scan data overlaps with the primitives we have in order to keep the surfaces. The first thing is the tolerance. What the tolerance means is that it will actually search the mesh and the surfaces within this um, one millimeter. If you have a big object, it will just um, take the points from the mesh and try to compare uh, versus the um, primitives here up to the limit you provide here. Normally, the software automatically defines this value for you based on the size of the object. So uh, by default, it's um, one millimeter or if the object is too big, it might be three millimeters. So you can play with this parameter. The other parameter is, is how the surface, which needs to be kept, overlaps with the base surface. If I just reset the trim, this will actually show us how much of the surface of this, uh, of this face of the cut model actually it is in order to be kept. So the algorithm works that if the, there are enough points from the scan data covering this face, this means that it will remain. So basically that's all. It's up to uh, from the minimum, which is about 1% um, overlap up to 15% overlap with this face, then this means that our face will be kept. So you can control this if you don't get any good results and you can apply. When you apply, you can see the results and you get um, your uh, trimmed surfaces just with the hit of a button. Please keep in mind that this is a, a helper function, which means that at any point you can just reset the trim and you can use your manual, click on the screen to remove your unnecessary faces or if you are happy with the result you can just see what it will look like and just press ok and you get the final result let's take a look at a bit more complex object like this one we will just load the object in quick surface it reconstructs it's a complex model here and we have something like this i will just uh, hide everything else and we see that we reconstructed the body of the watch. This is our reference mesh. So you can see. And then we created some elements here with the freeform. We created also two planes here. And then another, the other two planes. And we have the solid body here. And our object looks like this. So again, I will just use my dragging 
rectangle on the screen to select everything and I will just go and use trim. Now we have everything pre-trimmed which means that we have these pieces of uh, faces which you can just click on the screen to be removed but there might be some small and tiny faces here which you uh, it's hard for you to reach so I will reset the trim and I will try now to use the auto trim surface as you see now the software automatically suggests the user what will be the maximum distance from the mesh to the faces so in this case it's 0.3 millimeters which is okay and then I just I, I very rarely use this overlap with the mesh by default it's about 20% overlap with the reference mesh and what I do in this case I just press apply as you can see it's automatically removed all the faces which are not necessary I'll just hide as you see it throws away what it's not needed and when I press ok the surface is reconstructed and you get a solid body indication here which means that we created our streaming correctly this is a helper function which can save you a, long, a lot of time lots of tedious clicks on the screen and provide you a great result. I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching.